Well, I don't know what to make of this, ladies and gents. AI robot has been cast uh, in a lead role of a 70 million science fiction film. Wow. This is not like this is not some small time uh, you know, news source here. This is the Hollywood Reporter, so this is legit. I am absolutely baffled. Um Wow. Is this the future now? Is this the future amid COVID? Having AI programs now uh, in lead roles. Who knows? Jasper! You could be famous, mate. He's already famous, isn't he? Let's be honest. Um, yeah, this is quite crazy, to be fair. Uh, so l let's take a look at it, right? Erica, the AI robot cast in science, uh, science fiction film B. That's what it's called, B. Now, I do think that has an interesting premise, and I do think this is this is interesting. I really would... I hate I hate this if this becomes the norm, though. This does not need to be the norm. Um, I think there's a time and a place, and I think this film in particular is the time and the place, I guess, to a certain degree. So, the feature, financed by the backers of To The Bone and Loving Vincent, is said to be the first to rely on an entirely... In well, an artificially uh, intelligent actor. So, AI. Now, as the industry grapples with how to reopen for production safely, one movie is proceeding with a lead actress who is immune to COVID-19 because she's a robot named Erica. She's an AI, basically. Um, so, basically, Bond at Capital Media, which financed titles such as To the Bone and the Oscar-nominated Loving Vincent. I really like that. Uh, Loving, Loving Vincent is great. That's really, really good. Check it out um, if you haven't already. It's a very, very good film uh, and well worth... It's a visual masterpiece. Like, it's mind-bendingly good. Um, hopefully, a lot of you guys would have seen it, and if not, you, you should watch it. Uh, Belgium-based Happy Moon Productions and New York's 1010 Global Media have committed to Back B, a $70 million science fiction film which producers say will be the first to rely on an artificially intelligent actor. Now, what does that mean? I mean, are you not just programming it to do certain things? Like it's not proper AI, is it? Now, based on a story by visual effects supervisor Eric Pham, so that's quite good. I think this is this is a good part. Uh, a visual effects supervisor writing a story, knowing how to craft the story based on visual effects, with a visual effects heavy film because it's an AI that bodes really well it's again a, a good likeness would be uh, Extraction right um, directed by Sam Hargrave I mean it's an action film he's an action stuntman he's gonna like obviously it's not you know uh, a given that it's gonna be good but clearly it worked very well I think this bodes quite well as well now Tarek Zodi and Zam, uh, Sam Coase are also part of the story. Um, and they also produce through Life Entertainment B. This is the premise. Anyway, B follows a scientist, and this is why I think it's good, who discovers dangers associated with a program he created to perfect human DNA and helps the artificially intelligent woman he designed, Erica, to escape. So it makes sense. Again, it's the time and a place thing, isn't it? This, this, don't ever make this the norm. Don't ever make this the norm. This, this is, no. Don't ever make it the norm. But for it to drop in when it makes sense like this, I'm for it. I think I think this could be good. Good way to explore it anyway. Just see whether it works or not. 70 million is a lot of money to waste on something that could not be good though. Um... So basically, Japanese scientists Hiroshi Ishigura and Kohei Ogawa, sorry, who created Erika in real life as part of their study of robotics, also taught her to act, applying the principles of method acting to artificial intelligence, according to Coase. How? I'm fascinated, but I'm seriously fascinated by this. How on earth? How how do you what how do you teach it to act in method acting? Surely you just teach it to to replicate certain things. But the, the god the existential crisis this creates is an actor really an actor or are they just replicating? I mean god ah, it's crazy, isn't it? 
I could just hear the public outcry now from Daniel Day-Lewis. No, I'm the best method actor. Whilst Erica, the AI robot, just saunters in. No, I am. Like, goddamn. Um, so anyway, they say, in other methods of acting, actors involve their own life experiences in the role, Coe says. But Erica has no life experiences. No shit, she's not alive. As she was created from scratch to play the role. We had to simulate her motions and emotions through one-on-one -on -one sessions, such as controlling the speed of her movements, talking through her feelings, and coaching character development and body language. How on earth... How on earth are you going to do takes on this? Is it going to be one take? Is it just going to be good straight from the off? Like, how on earth do you do that as a director? Who's it being directed? Like, seriously? How do you do that? How do you direct this individual? No, 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 sorry, Erica, what we need you to do is a little bit more like this. Or is it just someone going to be sat there on a keyboard? You're going to go, hey, Bobbo, um, big Bobbo the geek over there. Mate, can you, we need her to be a bit more like this. Yes, yes, sir. Like, what, huh? <laughs> it's insane. We're really at a completely other level here, aren't we? Uh, now, Erica was originally set to debut in a different project, so she's all she's always been built as an acting AI, by the sounds of it. Um, the sets have been directed by Tony Kay, who did uh, American History X, great movie. But producers parted with Kay over scheduling, and the director of B and the human co-star for Erica are not yet attached. So they've just said, yeah, we're going to make this movie. Uh, but producers filmed some of her scenes in Japan in 2019, and they expect to shoot the rest of B in Europe in June of 2022. But how do you do that then? Oh, in, yeah, 2021, sorry. Um, how, how, how? Do you just download her each time? Just send her around on a floppy disk? Obviously not a floppy disk. Um, a hard drive? Like, how? I'm so... I don't understand. But I'm amazed. And like I said, I think I think ultimately, if, if you're going to do it, this is the way to do it, right? Include an AI robot, an AI actor, however you want to call it now. AI Lives Matter, I guess. ALM. Um, A-I-L-A-A-L-M. Whatever. Uh, include her in, in a role which is quite literally an AI. Don't include her in anything else. Like, how would you do that? I don't, that's not good. Don't do that. But include her as something that she actually is. Therefore, she's not really acting. You know? She's not, she's not an AI pretending to be a human. She's an AI being an AI. Uh, and, and I think that's good. I think this is fascinating. And it really does open up the, the potential opportunities in the future for so many things. So many things. But then this also goes to a previous video I did today. Which was all to do with... Um, Disney bringing back CGI recreations. Will it get to a point, right? Now, this is the real question here. Will it get to a point where when an actor has died, they can fully simulate that actor again? Because they would have sold their likeness rights to the studio, you know, based on the franchise that they, they were in. Can they get to a point where they fully simulate an actor, you know, in that role? Because that, that's what we're building towards, isn't it? I'm sure you guys would agree. That seems to be what they're building towards here. Just a fully CGI recreation. Fully AI, you know, input, output. I think this is fascinating. But I hand it on over to you. What do you think? Is this a big no? You know, is this permanently no? I hate this idea. No, definitely do do. I'm not down for this. Or do you like? Do you think like I do, where I think ultimately... You know, she's a robot playing a robot in a movie about a robot. So it kind of makes sense. I think that's a, an okay way to have it. Uh, that's what I think. But I hand on it to you. What do you think? Um, and genuinely, check out Loving Vincent. Fantastic film. But like I said, I hand on it over to you. Let me know down below in the comments section. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news. It's pretty interesting movie news if you ask me by hitting the bell notification uh, and turning, you know, basically subscribing to the channel and turning the bell notifications on to all. But anyway guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Mr. H, take care.